still good. I think it's working. Let's see how it tastes. Still good. All right, let's wait for it tomorrow. I tried whole milk today. I guess I got foam out of it, but it looks like a penis. Still didn't work. Hmm. Well, that looks a lot better than what I've been doing. So, yay, finally, gotta win. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jimmy. Welcome, if you're new here. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. As you saw, I was testing out this um, milk frother. It's by this company called Subminimal. I had backed it on Kickstarter and they claim that you can make latte art without having an espresso machine, which is nice because I don't have that and I don't want to spend the money just to make latte art at home even though that would be cool. I saw this on, I think it was like Instagram. What I like about this idea is that, like I was saying, you don't need an espresso machine supposedly to make latte art. All you need to do is just heat up the milk and then infuse air into the milk to be able to make microphones. And that's what this company claimed their device does. So coming from a non-professional barista standpoint, I was excited about that just because, you know, who doesn't like having nice looking coffee in their coffee? I tested it out for like a couple of days and I don't drink dairy or, yeah, I don't drink dairy in general just because I'm lactose intolerant. So I tried it with uh, almond milk first, but you know, I know for, I know from experience that when you do milk alternatives, you'd want to, they call it stretching the milk longer. That just means having air be sucked into the milk longer, but you have to have a steam wand to do that. And I don't have that. It didn't work with almond milk as you saw in my first attempt. Um, so I tried again later and I actually got like barista versions of alternative milk and it kind of worked, but I think I think a lot of it was there's definitely user error. I think it's a great device. It's just user error is definitely a lot of the issue here. But the thing I want to address is, or a couple things I want to address about this that I don't like is that the button that you you press on the handle it doesn't stay pressed. Like you have to constantly hold it. I wish that if you just press the button and then it just works and then you press it again and it turns off. Like, you know, most things that exist in this world. And if the batteries are dying, which kind of sucks. So you gotta hold it longer. And then eventually it's like, it's not easy either. You gotta press it really hard. So I think uh, that's the other problem. If it wasn't too difficult to press down. I wouldn't complain about it too much, but it's a little, it's a little bit uh, of a workout for my thumb. You have these two screens. Uh, you have a super fine and then you have a fine. So depending on, I guess, your skill level, uh, one is easier to make the milk have microphones in them than the other. And I believe the super fine is more of like a quote unquote professional version. Like you will get like the consistency of like a uh, milk that has been under steam one under steam one that has been steamed by a steam one um whereas the fine one it it makes the milk a little bit more thick so it's not like the best for pouring latte art but it's not 
bad either. You, your foam is just a lot thicker. And I was able to get a couple of those consistency with like the thick foam. It's not very consistent on my part. So I think a lot of it, I'm still trying to figure it out. But you know, overall, it's still a pretty cool idea. It's a cool device. I also got the milk pitcher. What I like about theirs is that you can put this over a stove top um, to heat up your milk so that you can froth it. So that's what I've been doing. And it works out pretty well for the most part. Um, I think I would need to get another milk pitcher, like a traditional milk pitcher. Well, traditional in the sense of like the ones that the Asho baristas use. Because this one, the design, like the from the base to the spout, it's like just a smooth transition or no lack of transition, I should say. Whereas the ones that, you know, these these baristas at these cafe shops use, there's a little of like a bump between the, uh, the main body and the spout. And I believe that's mainly for, I guess, pouring the milk at a controlled speed. Whereas this one is so smooth, it's just it just goes out. And I mean, it doesn't pour out as fast as I'm explaining it. It only goes as fast as you're pouring it. But um, yeah, I think having that little dip in the the body might help with more control of the, the milk coming out or something like that. I'm getting real technical with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this coming from a non-barista or non-professional barista standpoint, just so that you know what you're getting into if you decide to get this for yourself and you haven't had experience working in like a cafe making latte it's definitely fun i i enjoy doing it but you gotta get, keep practicing so i'm still there i hope you guys enjoyed this video hit that like button subscribe if you haven't already watch my other videos i have videos about me making coffee with my flare espresso so just watch one of those i don't know where i put my screens Peace.